book bag, lunch money, mom, tissue, mom, underpants, mom. I know I'm embarrassing you, but it won't be for much longer. You turn 10 on Saturday and you know what that means. Starting Monday, you get to come to wait for the bus all by yourself. Can you believe it? The Mike's just turning the big one oh. And this one who has achieved a full decade of life, he will reap all the benefits appertaining there too. When I turn 10, my dad's gonna bump me up to the next allowance bracket to a sweet dollar seventy per. I'll be staying up till 8.30 Tuesday nights. It'll be just me, the TV, and the adventures of Peeny McChimp. I wonder what the Mike's gonna do. I don't know. Let's ask him. Hey, Mikey! How's it going, man? You must be getting pretty excited about the big day, eh, Mikey? <laughs> Mikey? Yo, Mikey! Huh? What? You okay? You look like you just lost your best fruit pie. Huh? Oh, yeah, fruit pie. Come on, guys, time to hit the books. Ah! Hey, somebody drop their sippy cup. Bonky. Bonky, bonky, speckled little Hello, head. old friend. Bonky, bonky. Hey, Mikey, got your invitation to the birthday bash on Saturday. Yeah, our first double-digit doodah. Tinder. I trust you've selected a sophisticated yet unpretentious juice to commemorate the day. Huh? Oh, yeah, I think we're having apple. He thinks we're having apple? That's weird. Just last week, Mikey couldn't wait to turn 10. Now he doesn't care enough to know what kind of juice we're having at his party. Yeah. Ever since yesterday, he's been acting funny. That tends to happen as people begin to age. Their bodies fail them, their brains aren't quite what they used to be. Listen, I've known Mikey over half my life, and there is nothing wrong with that boy. Of all our founding persons, which one said, I cannot tell a lie? Anyone? Anyone? Mikey? George Bonky 10? <laughs> Uh, good save, Mikey. Now, let's all turn to page 112, which gives lie to the whole cherry tree myth. The cow says moo. Come on, Vince, do your worst. Put it right here. I ain't afraid of no kickball. Okay, you made your point. Mikey, heads up! <laughs> Mikey, what do you have, a death wish? I told you, never turn your back when Vince is... <gasps> It's blue. Uh, I fell in a puddle of uh, blueberries. Uh, I gotta go clean up. A puddle of blueberries? Uh, guys, I don't know how to say this, but Mikey wasn't eating blueberries. He was sucking on a bonky pop. A bonky pop? But they're for kindergartners. Yeah, and that's not all. Look! Bonky stuff? But why? Isn't it obvious? We've all gone through a bonky phase, usually at age two or three, maybe as late as five. Still, to regress into an infantile bonky obsession at the age of ten, this is very serious. All I can say is I didn't like Bonky when I was supposed to, and I don't like him now. Yeah, and besides, we can't hang out with a 10-year-old Bonky freak. We'll be the laughing stock of the playground. But guys, this is Mikey we're talking about. The Meister, the Mikey Mate, Big Boy Blumber, our friend. We can't just give up on him. He needs us. Well, what can we do? We could take all this Bonky junk and chuck it down the ravine. No, I got a better idea. Face-to-face -face confrontation. We go up to Mikey, look him right in the eye, and tell him we know all about his Bonky stuff. He'll be so embarrassed, he'll stop playing with Bonky, just like that. You'll see. Hey, Mikey, you forgot your backpack. Oh, uh, thanks. Look, man, the dragon's out of the bag. We know you're all hung up on Bonky. I'm quite sure I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, man, your book bag's jammed with Bonky junk. I mean, that's gotta be a cry for help. That's not Bonky junk. It's... Okay, it is, but it was put there by someone else. Enemies, out to get me. Please, Mikey, get off that stuff before the whole school finds out. Never! Mikey, wait! Everybody, Mikey's playing with Bonky stuff. Yeah! <laughs> Mikey loves Bonky. Mikey loves Bonky. Mikey you guys just, bonky. just, just be quiet. Maybe confronting him wasn't the best thing to do after all. Poor Mikey, we've got to do something. Confrontation didn't work. I suggest we try acceptance. Acceptance? You've got to be kidding. Look, if we support Mikey by accepting his new lifestyle, perhaps it'll help build his self-esteem. Well, I guess it's worth a try. <sighs> Hey, Mikey, sorry about what happened earlier. Here, you dropped something. Bonky! Yeah, ain't he the cutest? Wow! <laughs> <laughs>